Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a really really requested video and this is how I edit my videos with Final Cut Pro. I've made already two videos on how I edit so if you want to check that out it really helps I believe. I will leave everything down below so you can check it out. First, if you do not have Final Cut Pro, this is what I edit with Final Cut Pro. I absolutely love it. If you have a Mac somewhere, well, you can always get the free trial for one month. So if you can get a Mac, maybe from your parents, from your friends, you can always get the free trial for one month. I'm going to focus on my intro and how I edit my intro. So this is my intro from here to here. Um... If you're wondering, I filmed at the YouTube Space London. Um, for this intro, I got a couple new plugins. So basically, plugins are what you can buy online and they have transitions, they have effects. It's called Pixel Film Studios, and this is where I buy all my plugins, all my effects, all my transitions. So yeah, you just go there and you see text and titles, transitions, generators, themes. So yeah, this is what I use and I really, really, really recommend this website if you're looking to buy plugins for Final Cut Pro. So basically I'm going to start with the beginning. So first when I do my intro, the first thing that I choose is my music. Uh, before everything else, I will have the day before I edit, I will look online for new music. I find all my music on SoundCloud. Um, it's from people that I follow. Uh, usually it's original mixes and it's free download so I don't get any copyright or anything and then if you want to use something that is more famous or is like a remix just try and get the permission if you can. So for this effect basically I took a picture from Google and I don't have the right for the picture if you're wondering so yeah it's just I take the picture from Google and that's it. Um, basically what you see here is a transition and I believe that the opacity, if you see I put it 100%, then we would not see what's underneath. So I put it like this. So there is an effect like the sign comes. Then this is my transition and I absolutely love this transition. I'm so happy that I bought it. So I'm going to show you. It's called Trans Tunnel and this is what it looks like. So basically you can choose your shape so for example a square triangle hexagon and you just choose how many photos you want to put in so 10 or 5 um so you just drag it and once you have it here you just put the photos photo one photo two photo three photo five i put 10 photos here and if you're wondering the photos are down here so when you put the photos under everything, it just hides them. So you're not going to see them in my video, but they're here hidden underneath. So um, yeah, basically if I want to change this one and put Coachella instead, apply clip and this is what it looks like. Also what you see here are letterbox, but I do not use the effect letterbox. Basically, it is just a transparent background and then I put two lines there and then I put it on top because if I have to put letterbox, letterbox is an effect, if I have to put it, I have to put it in each clip and I have so many clips, maybe like more than 100, so I cannot waste time putting it on every clip. So basically, I just make my own letterbox on pickmonkey.com and then I drag it all the way and then it applies to all my clips because it's at the top. Also, I always, always edit um, with the beat. So it's so important to me to follow the beat. You see, two, 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 two. So basically what I do is I put my clips here and then I just randomly put more on top to see if it goes with the music and if it doesn't, I just place them. 
so it goes with the music it takes a long long time for this video I believe and it took me about 16 hours to edit it's a long long time but I love editing so I wanted to show you the new plugins that I got and this is the lens flare that you see here so let's see lens flare if I take it you see the difference I absolutely love it it looks more professional and it's really subtle so it really looks like it's actually the camera who did that but it's just an effect so basically you can choose the saturation intensity you can also adjust the color if you want blue purple yellow I really really love this plugin best plugin I bought because it makes everything look so much more professional and then the movement here you see it can move so basically what I do is I go to the beginning of my clip I click here on movement then I drag all the way at the end of the clip I click again and then this was here and I drag it all the way you can do it the opposite way and then I drag it and that means that the beginning you see how it changes the beginning the movement was here and the end the movement is here so basically after I will just choose all my clips and if I see that a clip is way too shaky so basically I go at the bottom and I put stabilization so I'm going to show you what it would do on this clip um, I see here that I didn't put it that means that it would look horrible with stabilization on but usually I put stabilization for all my clips so you see when I undo it and when I do it it's supposed to make everything looks smoother and I really really like checking that box all the time for all my clips after I will um, put some effects and some transition and the more transition I feel the more professional it looks it looks like you put in more time and more effort so yeah I love putting a lot of transitions um, then for more effects if you don't want it to be too boring what I do is I love doing a lot of reverse this clip is reversed so basically I go here and here you can have slow fast reverse so you can reverse clip um, but here you see the clip is already reversed so if I want it to reverse to normal the clip looks like this and I reversed it so it looks like this I love reversing my clips and also you can see it here what I love to do is when I have my clip I'm gonna put it in normal so that was the clip so you see it's a pretty pretty long clip so what I like to do is I go here and I take range selection and I take a random really a random part like for example here in the middle and then I put this part fast like maybe eight so basically what it's gonna do is like normal normal fast 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 and then normal and I love the effect that it does and if you look at my videos I do this a lot like a lot because I really like how it looks and I feel like it looks really professional so basically if you have nobody to film you and you feel like your clips are always too steady because you film yourself with a tripod then what you can do is go on to the effects and here you will have handheld so basically if you put handheld what it's going to do is make your clip move so um, it's a good idea if your clips are always all steady and you want them to move around so the handheld is here you see the shakiness so then it would look like it's really shaky and then you can change the distance um, so I'm going to show you what it would do now with the handheld and with the small part that I uh, made faster so you see how it goes really fast there and then when I hear the music and the beat I press the space bar that's the sound you can hear here it's the space bar 
you see and then here I see that this is where I need to put my transition because the bit goes there so now if you want your footage to look more professional, you can go to color correct, go to color board, and here what you can do is change the overall color of the clip. Here is for the blacks, saturation. As you can see, I didn't change it just because at the YouTube space everything was really professional and the lighting was really professional and I really liked the clip as it was so I didn't really need to change anything. Now I'm going to show you another effect that I just got. So here are a bunch of effects that I got. Um, very smoke. You see here. This is electric lights. This I bought for my Halloween um, film. Uh, I've never used it since so yeah. Here you have a bunch of things like that. If you're interested, you can read here the title, Pro Accent, if you're interested and you wonder what the plugins are. You see this on a lot of um, YouTubers' videos. They use this a lot. And I believe I bought this like two years ago, last year. I really like this one. Now I got this effect, it's called Pro Flare Color Light Leaks. This is to make leaks and it changes the color of your clip. If I go on top, it would show you here what the clip would look like if you put um, the plugin on top of the clip. So if you want it a more purple, if you want something like this, I believe it's also rainbows at the bottom. Um, this is the lens flare that I just showed you. And I really, really like the lens flare. Um, at the bottom you can change and make it purple or red or here you have some rainbows. So basically this you have to put on your clip and then you can change saturation, intensity, color adjust movement, flicker amount, flicker speed, you can change it here, vertical flip, horizontal flip, and yeah, it makes such a huge difference, I really like this. And actually, when I bought this, uh, I bought this especially for my Coachella videos, and I just saw a Coachella video by Makeup by Mandy24, and if you go and look at it, she has this plugin. So um, it's funny because now that I use the plugin, I know that um, she used the same plugin. So yeah, it's really popular and it's just up to you to make it different and try to have your style. But um, if you're interested in my plugins, so um, this basically makes it like really retro. If you like the retro vintage look. I'm going to show you a bunch so you can see if you're interested in buying the plugins. And then I have, so I would show you if I would put some smoke here. I feel like it could look cool if I would put some smoke. So I would drag it on top, then I would adjust it to the length of my clip. Then you go here and you find it. So. So you can adjust the smoke speed, the smoke size, the blur, contrast, opacity, make it really, really thick. You can also change the color. Let's see what it looks like. Also, this one, if you're wondering, So this is a plugin that is already made here. So basically you have a bunch you can choose from. It's called Pro Intro Urban. So you have this one, this one. My favorite is this one. It's like Galaxy. And yeah, so basically you choose whichever one you want and you just drag it. basically all you have to do is just replace 
with your text here and I think if you have some money to spend on something or on a plugin I would say buy an intro plugin so because um, it looks super professional and people are going to be like wow how did you make those triangles how did you make this but it's already just made and you just have to replace and then just make your colors and everything and if you're wondering um the plugins um i believe they're all in pounds they're about 17 pounds they're all 25 but i always buy them on sale basically easy now if you want to see more just check out two of my other videos that I made on, on those videos I'm more technical so just check out my other videos. Now if you want to see more videos like this on how I edit or if you want to see maybe how I edit my outro. I know a lot of people ask me about my outro. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to go check out my Coachella videos because I worked a lot a lot on those videos. So um, I will see you next week. Bye!